This animated video demonstrates how Duolink Proximity Ligation Assay enables specific and sensitive in-situ detection of endogenous proteins and their interactions. Zooming in on fixed and permeabilized cells, these two globules represent two epitopes of a single protein or epitopes on two different proteins that may be interacting. The first step is to incubate with target-specific primary antibodies raised in two different species. Then, the plus and minus PLA probes are added. These are secondary antibodies conjugated with DNA oligos. Both are needed for a signal to be generated. Next, hybridizing connector oligos join the PLA probes if they are in close proximity to each other. Then, a ligase enzyme is used to form a closed circularized DNA template, which is required for rolling circle amplification. Next, DNA polymerase is added. The PLA probe acts as a primer for the rolling circle amplification and generates a single-stranded concatomeric sequence of up to 1,000 copies of the template. This amplicon remains tethered to the PLA probe antibody, enabling localization of the signal. Finally, Labeled oligos, or detection probes, hybridize to the complementary sequence within the amplicon. As many as 1,000 of these detector probes can hybridize per amplicon. Zooming out, the results are visualized as discrete spots or PLA signals when viewed under a microscope. This allows localization of where the protein or protein interaction occurred. The Duolink PLA technology for amplified protein detection allows you to visualize protein interactions in their native state, detect weak and transient interactions, and achieve localization to see what's really there, all without overexpression or genetic manipulation. For more information, visit sigmaaldrich.com slash Duolink PLA.